actually means you know when a company has a logo technically how we look at it uh, graphologically how we look at it graphologically we look at it graphologically in the sense of uh, like it's the company signature the company is represented by that formation by that picture by that color by that basically that picture is showing it's representing the company itself so whatever the company thinks whatever the company internally thinks that is what is seen in the logo that is what is seen in the logo basically the company's logo is representing the complete mindset which it has now certain logos are representing aggression certain logos are representing customer care certain logos are representing authoritativeness certain logos are representing various aspects now that is basically designed and chosen by the company now we look at various various logos and we talk about it and how this is conceptualized now let's talk about a uh, a logo the color of the logo the the size of the logo the balance of the logo now what goes into designing of all these logos what goes into the colors of these logos all these are the basic concepts which we consider while designing the logos i i remember seeing so many logos and then we coming to know that these people the the company's uh, people have certain ailments of because of certain logos you will not be able to believe that these people have certain ailments there are certain logos because of which lot of people have a certain type of mindset and 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 let me tell you something you know because of certain logos certain type of mindset people only get attracted to that company this i have seen uh for a very very long time this has been my experience for a very long time i have always seen this that people have got attracted to that particular company with that mindset only so you know suppose a particular logo is very authoritative logo very authoritative so such type of people only get attracted to that particular company that is very very strong like you know uh cadbury's cadbury's is one company where you know a lot of uh, a lot of a particular mindset particular adjustment particular type of uh uh manipulation not a very clean uh manipulation but a uh, adjustment manipulation happens now that is what is seen in the logo so people working in that company i have seen lot of adjustment lot of lot of um, lot of interpersonal manipulation happens i am i'm really um, not very uh, happy to tell you all these things but but that's a fact you know uh, those who have dealt with uh, uh, cadbury's they will agree with me that these are the people who have got lot of uh, mental and uh, uh mindset adjustments manipulation which happens so uh that is what i i have always seen okay now there are certain colors which is also very very important in the logos yeah what we think you know that suppose just i'll give one example 
that people who have who have uh, just just imagine that you have a, a red color logo, red color writing in the logo. Now, what happens is now you have seen certain red color logos. These people, these people, we have seen, we have experienced, and when we say we have experienced, that means you know we have seen thousands and thousands of logos. These people who have got a red, red uh, writing. These people are very aggressive, very strong, very good, very strong infrastructure, very, very beautiful offices, very strong offices, very impressive offices. But unfortunately, these people over a period of time land land into certain legal issues. Invariably, you will find these people landing into certain legal entanglement legal entanglement and you know in spite of they being so strong infrastructurally they being so uh, powerful they being so aggressive in marketing they get into a legal entanglement certain legal issues come into picture. That's one part. Second part, what happens is these people always get into a interpersonal, internal interpersonal issues. Now that is something which is uh, which is internally not very uh, constructive. This, just, just imagine, I'll give you one example, uh, two, three examples, you know, of red color being uh, used in the in the uh, uh, writing the the red color uh, writings like you know uh, example you have got kingfisher you have got kingfisher air india air india and kingfisher are two very prominent example which you and i know together which you and i know together Otherwise, on a personal front, I would know many things, or you might also be knowing. But but on a on a, mm, a nationwide uh, knowledge, we both know uh, Kingfisher, which had a very uh, prominently red color writing. Then we had this uh, Air India, Indian Airlines. These are the. Uh, logos which were very much red very much red these both the companies got into such big beginning and they they uh, died a very uh, they died a very uh, they, died, they, they did not die a very strong death they 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 really merged out or they they really uh, went down very badly so this this is what I want to uh, share with you. Then you know colors colors do matter a lot in locos. It's a very very important aspect. The shape, the 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 construction, the base, the the the, the lower base is extremely important. The upper height, the and you know. The, one of the most important thing, the logos are designed or conceptualized. In our case, what we do is we always consider the person's handwriting before we even think of designing a logo. Suppose a person is not getting along with emotions or a person is not getting along with money or his he has got certain investment issues or he has got certain branching out issues or he has got certain issue and he wants to get uh, the business to his children so all these aspects are extremely important for for all of us when we design the logos suppose suppose a certain person wants to hand over the business to his uh, next generation. 
so you have got to have a different type of logo like i'll tell you something you know uh, now if if certain person wants to hand over the business to his children then he cannot have a logo where he does not have a a cross bar now people who do not have a uh, a cross bar these companies these infrastructures these organizations these associations find it extremely difficult to hand over their projects their association their companies to their children now one of the biggest example is tatas always remember this whenever you don't have a cross bar especially in the letter a capital a these companies these people these uh, ceos these uh, managing directors these chairmen will find it very very difficult to hand over their infrastructure to their children very difficult very 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 tough now in many many companies i have seen this many companies that people who do not have uh the a cross bar see in tata do you do you remember in tata of course in the class we will explain this in a very big way but right now just just make you aware that these are the things and these are the things which has to be considered when you think of a logo when you think of a particular logo then you will have to consider this you will have to be aware that this is an organization and if you want to hand over this organization to your uh, next generation where of course this is a, a a system i'm talking about a particular system where you you are handing over the the organization to your children yes we are not talking about a political party certain political parties do not have this policy of giving your post to your children fine that's that's a different concept they think in a particular manner but here we are talking about an organization which has to be handed over to your children this is a different mindset certain political parties want their children to take over fine certain political party do not want their children to uh, uh, get into that particular fine that's a it's a matter of policy i'm talking about a policy where your children are supposed to take over that uh that that business okay now if you have any questions you can ask so i think so certain questions have uh, uh merged out yes i'll i'll answer those questions please i'll keep on answering your questions i'll keep on answering those questions uh i'll just read out the questions how is the logo analysis sound effect as handwriting is result of impulses in the brain which has stored our life experiences where as logo is made by individual graphic designer or ad agencies yes now what happens is uh ritaj ritaj gupta has asked this now i would like to answer this question richit is asking me how is the logo analysis scientific it's extremely scientific not only it's scientific it's conceptualized scientifically each logo which we design and world over maximum logos are designed they are designed on the basis of golden ratio golden ratio is based on fibonacci series now this is a scientific ratio which is taken into consideration while designing the logo every almost most of the logos are designed with this golden ratio now because it is designed 
with the golden ratio are you aware of a ratio which is called fibonacci series or a, a ratio where uh, it is 1 is to 6 18 this is the ratio in which almost all the best logos are designed and we have always been designing in this series and this this ratio is used very beautifully like in apple logo or any any logo coca cola pepsi uh, twitter all these logos are designed in this manner all these logos and because always we have been designing this logo these logos in this ratio in this uh, ratio called golden ratio this golden ratio if you see it is based on the natural principles as if you have learned graphology you will be aware that graphology happens to be a natural science here in this uh, logo designing also we have always used the most and the most strongest of natural law that is the golden ratio golden ratio is used or rather is uh, applicable to all trees all uh, all cells all uh, roots all flowers rows every possible trees leaves flowers fruits seeds everywhere uh, our shape our nose eyes shape of the body the structure of the body is made in golden ratio the full natural principle all all this uh, the nature is in golden principle golden ratio now this golden ratio is used in conceptualizing designing the logos in this sense ritaj it is very scientific extremely scientific okay the next part of your question as handwriting is result of impulses in brain which has stored our life experience which has, which has been stored uh, through our life experience where as logo where else the logo is made by individual graphic designer or ad agencies here here is the concept where see individual ad designer designed it correct 100% you are right but you have chosen it that is where the real crux is crux is you have we somebody the ad agency or the graphic designer designed it designed 20 logos for you 15 logos for you five logos for you but you chose one so you it's your choice it's your design it's your uh, subconscious which has attracted it you have attracted it that logo has attracted you and you have attracted that logo so it's your design it's your choice remember this it's your choice don't it's you cannot put it to the designer you just can't put it to the designer and 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 the designer also you chose you chose the designer remember that the designer did not come out of the way there there are thousands of designers and you have chosen that design i always you know many people come <clears throat> many people come many people come and they say ki designing is so easy i say it's extremely easy designing can be done in 15 minutes and i know people sitting roadside roadside people they will give you designs why they they should give design your uh, youtube or many 
there are many sites where you can get hundreds of logo without wasting a single minute hundred percent correct but then what is your requirement what is your mindset what is your concept what you're looking for you have got to make things as per your requirement as per your requirements so it's very important that what you choose what you choose now this this is extremely important what you choose and this this is your subconscious choice so it's your design it's not the it's not the uh, graphic designers design or ad agencies design it's your design so don't 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 get it to anybody else it's your design and you have chosen that so uh, i will not uh, uh, put it to somebody else jaish walke how about dhl they are also having a red logo yes very very strong people very strong here dhl yes lot of aggression lot of big infrastructure lot of internal uh, clashes but one beautiful thing what you see or you know what you are supposed to see in the logo is apart from the color yes 100% red color so th- that red color issues are there red plus 100% no issues on that but here you will see there are certain horizontal lines and there are there is a line in between which is straight and it's black now remember always remember that certain lines in these logos are very 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 important now these lights what do what do lines uh, tell us always remember you know how are lines created are you aware of course those who have learned graphology are aware that line are the now when a, a line is drawn that means there are lots of dots okay a line is created by dots so there are hundreds of thousands and thousands of dots of course there is a gap between two dots so a line is not a line it's a series of dots now dot is created by the mind being consistently focus to a particular objective okay that is a line what is a line line is a consistent perseverance perseverance to a particular objective without getting disturbed that is a line here in dhl of course red is going to create an issue but that straight line is going to create that focus that straight line is going to create 100% of focus and there are you know you have got three lines in the beginning and three lines at the end that is giving that extra power that is giving that extra power these people these people remember these people are very good not only in the beginning but at the end also they are very very careful and that straight line not only in between but before the d and after the l of course red is whatever the red implies that implication of red does not go away it does not go away. those people working in dhl very aggressive very strong and over a period of time health issues 100% health issue you can check it out okay 
जयेश वालके फर्दर आस हाउ द लोगो शुड बी एंड स्पेशली विच कलर्स टू बी यूज नाउ लेट मी टेल यू फ्यू थिंग्स इट इज नॉट द कलर्स आर नॉट adopt there are no colors adopt you cannot design colors uh, you cannot use colors now for every product every product has a different color why suppose you have got a product suppose you have got a product which is which is competitive products so which type of product you have got educational product you have got a, a a piercing product you have got a natural product in the sense uh, nature based product or a technical product or a engineering product what what is the product it all is these products are going to dictate the colors example when you have got a product which has got maximum competition maximum competition those products have got a different specific colors you have got an educational product means you are you are piercing a market you are piercing a market where you are getting a new product totally new product people are not aware of that product they are not even aware there is an existence of that product like lenovo apple etc etc different color competitive colors different so colors are basically thought of on the basis of the product its competition its everything so colors are not based on colors are not based on uh my choice or your choice it's based on the product its market uh, piercing ability etc etc et so it's it's based on something else okay so be very careful which color is supposed to be used next is uh puja is asking what perspective shall be considered for the logo for silver gold businesses which colors are mostly used for this business logo now let me tell you puja now gold business or a uh, silver business these businesses normally and now it is based on whether it's a wholesale business or it's a retail business or you have got retail outlets is the business based on diamond jewelry also are you making the jewelry or are you just trading the jewelry or making and selling it etc etc of course a lot of things are considered but but if you are into i'm just giving one example if you if you are going to uh make a logo which is people are buying gold out of love out of uh see see what is your target marketing is it investment based or you want to promote people to buy gold for investment or for jewelry wearing those jewelry or marriage jewelry or you know so that will have a different color but normally uh, uh it is based on uh those uh heart heart base color heart base color heart chakra colors okay so that is basically and you know many times many times we use white color very widely we are using white color very very widely and if you see many of the prominent logos are using 
white color very very strong very strong like you know you will be surprised you will be really surprised that many of the logos are using the white color very very strongly and effectively like you know colgate colgate palmolive uh that bacha masala that uh, lot of products which are very strong marketing base they are using white color very strong you will be so surprised you know this uh, colgate colgate has used red and white so beautifully see there is no red writing it's white color in red all uh, boxes and <coughs> this is <coughs> this has to be seen very strong this has to be your major focus to see what colors you are seeing this is very very important so you will be you will have to be aware of the colors according to the products okay going further kanchan kanchan is asking what is golden ratio ha huh, kanchan what is golden ratio now golden ratio is basically let me tell you zero when zero One, one, two, three, five. These are golden ratios. These letters, eight, thirteen. When you add two letters, two letters. These are called Fibonacci series. These are called Fibonacci series. These are called Fibonacci series. Let me tell you. Uh, uh, if you if you see a Fibonacci series, give me uh, on the Fibonacci series. I'll show them. Have you heard of Fibonacci series? Now this uh, is a ratio in which. we design all the logos or rather all the logos in the world have been designed major logos have been designed in this ratio all the all this is the ratio in which this was designed way back thousands of years back by all our uh, your and my uh, uh great grandfathers have designed this fibonacci series india has got this series you know give me that series i'll show you okay. now if you if you look at uh, the series this series then you know what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to total the two things matlab uh suppose 8 plus 13 so it's 21 21 plus 13 it's 34 34 plus you have to total these two things and and get into the next figure and if you divide the previous one then you get a ratio is 0.618 that's the golden ratio that is the golden ratio. you can you will be able to check this everywhere you will be able to check this everywhere this is the golden ratio in which in which 
all the major logos in the world have been designed all the major logos and we have been designed with this with this principle only this is the basic principle with which all the logos are designed even i'll tell you something you will be surprised even the the picture the the painting of mona lisa has been designed or painted in golden ratio even mona lisa's uh, picture or painting such a small painting but it has been designed or rather painted in golden ratio okay now somebody is uh, reepa so lucky is asking what is the connection between graphology and logo conceptualizing this yes, very interesting now what happened you know reena or uh, reepa reepa years back years back years back when we started uh, graphology or rather i started graphology way back in 1996 i think so what 26 years back when i was i started teaching graphology 26 years back we thought that your signature is extremely important for your life hmm? similarly there is a company signature which is also equally important for the representation of the mindset of the company now that designing is known as its logo the logo was the logo is the company's the company's signature that's how we got into the signature of the company that is logo that's how we got into logo and then we researched into it we went deep into it and last few years we have been taking classes of logo designing and uh, last what 17 18 years we have been designing logos that's how the logo and graphology was connected is connected that's how it is connected that's how we got into logo designing that's how that's it that's how uh, that's how we got into it okay uh, that's how we were carried with this and then uh, fortunately fortunately we got very very good results i'll tell you something uh, two years back you know of course there are hundreds of success story of logo designing but you know we have been designing packets packages uh two years back i'll tell you something hmm. somebody was designing the in a very critical position where, where when there was lockdown somebody was designing the mask hmm? and they unfortunately could not sell for some reason some technical government some legal issues some uh, transportation issue some marketing issue said uh, certain transportation issue basically they could not do anything in spite of their big infrastructure to manufacture mask in that lockdown also they could manufacture mask then they sent us the packet the the cover the cover of the mask and there was a certain change in the packet of the mask and believe me we changed i'm just talking to you very particular uh, incident and they sold believe me they sold in crores that mask and full of madhya pradesh full of rajasthan 
and certain part of Uttar Pradesh and Punjab use that mask like you know it was a very very big success it the the product was sold in crores an unbelievable success unbelievable unprecedented unbelievable so you know uh, this conceptualizing part is extremely important extremely the color the color combination the 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 certain uh, ratio in which the white and the other colors were used etc etc that that got really very good very very good so you know uh, this this concept of color and the ratio ratio proportion the the balances the 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 lower balance the upper balance all these are uh, these are the things which we consider these are the things which we consider it's it has over a period of time it has really worked out very well and uh, that's the reason you know we have we we could develop that confidence of uh, designing more and more logos for people that's the reason we are been doing it that's the reason we have been doing it okay any other question you can uh, please give me uh, yes i am answering more questions now okay vipul goel wants to know what colors to be used for investment banking where you are raising funds for other companies now here we can go for deep blue i don't but here we will have to consider the person who is running the company of course of course uh, but here we can we can think of using deep blue colors we can use deep blue colors but are we taking the funds from general public or are we taking funds from uh, where we, where we are raising funds for other companies from where from where are you raising funds now it's very important that are you raising the funds from general public or from companies or from banks or you are are you facilitating the companies what is the uh, concept I, i we have got to know all these things people i'm i'm, I'm telling you you have got to use all these inputs correctly to know exactly where are what are you exactly doing you have said what colors to be used for investment banking where you are raising funds for other company raising funds from where so this is something which we have to know and who is doing it so that particular person's mindset and what exactly he is doing okay next question how is the combination of orange and black for clothing and april business online hmm. now orange and black remember you know, you will have to understand colors now black black is technically speaking black is not a color it's an absence of color white is combination of seven colors okay you will have to consider all these things red is aggression so you will have to consider these things always you know when you when you think of colors you will have to be very uh, conscious about colors you know black black is absence of colors so you know uh, whenever whenever you are uh, whenever you are signing an agreement or being very rigid very strong very uh, uh very very particular that those people and those uh, non flexibility is black 
rigidity is black. So you will have to be very particular black. So you will have to be very particular where are you using the black and for what reason. You are, I am not saying you cannot use. Of course you are supposed to use black also. But there you have got to have a reason for using black. So all those school, I am I'm, I'm working in so many schools. So black, when children use why why children use blue? Why do you why do you think children are supposed to use use blue or normally you use blue pens? Why why? Blue means there is an element of learning and more of acceptance, more of flexibility with blue pen. Pens, students who learn from blue pens with blue pens, they are more flexible. And students who learn from black pens are more rigid, non flexible. Schools are not, preferably, schools should not make the children use black, black ink. They become very rigid. It's, I'll tell you, a lot of schools do. Uh, do make children use black pens, but check out, they are more rigid, they are less flexible, they are less flexible with their parents, they are more rigid with their parents, they are, their flexibility, their acceptance, their, their uh, flexibility is very uh, rigid, very, very rigid. And, you know, you can check it out. It's really... Uh, at least to uh, make the children more accepting and and uh, flexible. It's a big task. I'm aware of many schools. Black is rigidity. Black is supposed to be rigid. The absence of color. And white is combination of all colors. See, see, you'll have to understand something. Here, here you'll have to understand. Every color. Color means what? Basically, color means what? Frequency. Every color has a frequency. You will have to consider the frequency. And when you have got lot of frequencies together, that's white. Lot of frequencies together is white. So when you consider so many frequencies together, that is the time you wear white clothes. When you are considering emotions, aggression, many, many things. So we, you wear white. That's the reason when somebody dies, you wear white color. Because you are supposed to consider all, all the pieces. You, you are supposed to consider emotion, non-existence, everything. Everything you have to consider. You wear white. And, and in the same situation, there is a community which wears black. They say no emotions. Forget it. This person has died. He has gone. So fine. No emotions now. Nothing to speak about. Fine. He has died. Now nothing. Nothing. Nothing can be spoken about. He has gone. He is gone. And that's it. So there is another concept to it. But whenever somebody dies, you wear white clothes. Why? You are, because you are considering all the emotions together. So white is in all the frequencies together. Okay, I'll just take up next question. We are not with a lot of time. Uh, does logo designing has very huge impact on profit of the company? Yes, Pooja. Yes. Uh, Logo designing has, our experience says, logo designing has lot of, uh, lot of impact on profit of the company. Yes, this is our experience. Yes, it is. Uh, does Abhijit Jadav says, what would be the price he said? Abhijit Jadav, I will not be able to tell you the price of logo designing, it depends on so many aspects. 
बट देर इज अटन प्राइस रितज गुप्त का ग्राफोलॉजी प्रोडक्ट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फ्री लांस एज अ ग्राफोलॉजिस्ट वेलनेस ब्रांड माई चॉइस इज टर्किस और सी ग्रीन विथ ब्लैक कॉम्बो फॉर ग्राफोलॉजी ब्रांड कलर साइकोलॉजी इन मार्केटिंग रितेश गुप्ता इट्स वेरी आई थिंक सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन दिस graphology product what is graphology product if i want to freelance as a graphologist uh, wellness brand my choice is turkish or sea green with black and white combo for we will have to see that particular logo and comment on that i will not be able to comment i will not be able to comment on something which i am not fully aware as to your question because black white combo graphology brand wellness brand and you want to phrase right now i'll have to have more details from you and i will definitely answer your question i i the details are slightly i i require more details to answer this question Now Abhijit, what Abhijit Chadha wants to know is the price of logo conceptualizing course. Yes, we have. We you will get the details. You will get the details from Neha uh, about. Uh, you are going to get anyway that 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 logo conceptualizing course. You are going to get the details. Yes, you are going to get. Yes. Now, we consider the the color the. writing of the person the balances lot of things basically your handwriting is 100% connected 100% considered before we even design or think of designing your logos 100% yes that's that's something which is extremely important for us very very important for us um kanchan rohra asking spelling of fibonacci series i'll be giving you that yes 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 uh should i spell out f i b o b o o n c i fibonacci series it's fibonacci series you can you can you can check it out on your on your uh electronic apparatus it's you you have lot of input on that lot of input on that and how to use that you know that's we have been using this for a very very long time so you'll have to be aware of this concept okay anyway it was such a great pleasure to talk to you all of this ba- basically we will talk to you in detail we will we will be considering many many logos to explain our concepts many logos we are going to consider we are going to make you aware how a particular logo makes a public impact how it makes investment impact how it makes interpersonal relationship how 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 logos are designed to make the company run over a period of time by your gen- next generation all these are designed in the logos it's beautifully designed and and by god's grace that we have been successful igps institute of graphology has been successful in designing these logos over a period of time successfully for last what i i i think so what last 15 17 years we we did not start designing logos along with the along with graphology it came it came almost 10 years back 10 years late when we started when i when i started teaching in 1996 the logo designing we started what in 2006 7 and really we started 2008 so you know almost a decade 12 years it it almost took 
12 years for us to uh, start this because uh, when we were really confident of doing so we did that we did not do it in the beginning of course 100% we did not do it in the beginning because we did not have the strong base and once we had the base we could do that because uh, what we always have believed is unless until we have a strong base it is not correct to do things without a strong foundation so when we had a strong base to talk about it uh, we did that and when we did that fortunately by god's grace we did it successfully so uh thank you very much i am really thankful to all of you uh it was such a great pleasure to talk on something which i have been working for a very long time thank you very much from my side thanks a lot